Welcome to the PTE Help. PTE Help is an initiative of the 86 Scores qualifier to support the aspirants in every way possible in order to qualify with the required scores. We strongly advise you to subscribe our YouTube channel to get the regular and latest updates. You may also connect us on our Facebook page. We are available at www.facebook.com slash PTE help. This video is to facilitate the candidates with a series of lectures which can be attempted to practice. Retell lecture of the PTE speaking module and summarize spoken text of the PTE listening module. PTE help. Lecture number one. I'm a computer science and engineering professor here at Carnegie Mellon, and my research focuses on usable privacy and security. And so my friends like to give me examples of their frustrations with computing systems, especially frustrations related <clears throat> to unusable privacy and security. Excuse me. So passwords are something that I hear a lot about. A lot of people are frustrated with passwords. And, you know, it's bad enough when you have to have one really good password that you can remember, but nobody else is going to be able to guess. But what do you do when you have accounts on a hundred different systems, and you're supposed to have a unique password for each of these systems? <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> At Carnegie Mellon, they used to make it actually pretty easy for us to remember our passwords. The password requirement up through 2009 was just that you had to have a password with at least one character. Pretty easy. But then they changed things. <laughs> and uh, at the end of 2009, they announced that we were going to have a new policy. And this new policy required passwords that were at least eight characters long, with an uppercase letter, lowercase letter, digit, symbol. You couldn't use the same character more than three times. And it wasn't allowed to be in a dictionary. PTE help. Lecture number two. In the USA, the main news sources without doubt are TV, the internet, and the press. That is traditional newspapers. And although they are each surviving and growing, they are also changing. Obviously, TV news has been around for a while, and the early evening bulletins when people get in from work are very popular. I suppose we traditionally think of the morning newspaper arriving on our doorstep with the daily news. Interestingly, this is not borne out by the statistics, which show that readership in the U.S. is much higher when people have time to relax, when they're not working, especially on Sundays. The Internet is also a popular weekend activity, but shows no variation with weekday access. So people are using the different sources in different ways. 
Interestingly, local radio has been hit less by the grip of quite strong local newspapers than by the internet, which is seen to offer a better regional service. But just because the internet is seen as the new force in news media does not mean it is dominant. Television has, of course, been global for a while. PTE help. Lecture number three. Every summer, my family and I travel across the world, 3,000 miles away, to the culturally diverse country of India. Now, India is a country infamous for its scorching heat and humidity. For me, the only relief from this heat is to drink plenty of water. Now, while in India, my parents always remind me to only drink boiled or bottled water. Because unlike here in America, where I can just turn on a tap and easily get clean, potable water, in India, the water is often contaminated. So my parents have to make sure that the water we drink is safe. However, I soon realized that not everyone is fortunate enough to enjoy the clean water we did. Outside my grandparents' house in the busy streets of India, I saw people standing in long lines under the hot sun, filling buckets with water from a tap. I even saw children who looked the same age as me, filling up these clear plastic bottles with dirty water from streams on the roadside. Watching these kids forced to drink water that I felt was too dirty to touch, changed my perspective on the world. This unacceptable social injustice compelled me to want to find a solution to our world's clean water problem. I wanted to know why these kids lacked water, a substance that is essential for life. And I learned that we are facing a global water crisis. PTE help. Lecture number four. If you come into the main university entrance, at the first junction, you'll find that Brown Hall is on the corner opposite the theater. 
So you're nice and near the station here. Though I think it can get a bit noisy with traffic. The same applies to Blake residence, which is directly facing the junction to the university entrance. These halls are often used by medical students and such like, as they're out all day, so don't notice the noise. Anyway, if you then walk along Campus Road towards the main circle, you'll see the library on the corner, and Queen's Building is just past that as you head north. You will find that it is quieter here, and you may get fewer visitors. By the way, the circle is quite a feature of the campus, as it's set into the hills and has a brand new sports centre in the middle. It's worth going to look around it. Now, the Parkway Flats are on the opposite corner to the library, facing the circle, as you head towards the main buildings. The main buildings are only about a five-minute walk from here, and places in these halls go quickly, so my advice is to reserve your place as soon as possible.